I opened the shed for you. I have to get all the equipment together and get it ready before I change. Oxygen bottles. But they look empty. I won't be able to open the locks while the bolts are activated. Let's try something else.
What on earth could have left these marks? I won't be able to open the locks while the bolts are activated. Well done, Kate. I could not have done better myself. Well, if everything's ready, I'll go and get the Yukels right away. In the meantime, I'll go and make sure that everything's all set. By the time you come back here with the Nomads, we'll just have to cast off. Perfect. I'll see you later, Captain. <laughs> Miss Kate Walker found another way for Yukos to cross Sacred Lake? Yes, it's unbelievable. I found a boat that could take all of you and your herd, too. The captain, Captain Oboe, is waiting for us at the port. First, we all must wait Kirk. Guide of Yukos, made like new with his new magic leg. Simon Steiner. The Valsenbor clockmaker finished Kirk's prosthesis and took it to the clinic. They're going to come down together and meet us on board the crystal. So Yukels make use of night to pick up entire camp. Much, much work for us tonight. <laughs> We're really getting somewhere.
It's just a minor setback. As long as their spiritual guide is here, in our hands, the nomads are going nowhere. I hope you know what you're doing, Olga Ethimova. The rest of my men won't be arriving for another few hours. It'll be hard to keep those savages here without breaking heads. And I don't want to create a scandal here in Valsambor. Don't worry, Colonel. If we do it my way, we won't need your army of mercenaries to solve the Yugal problem once and for all. God, what on earth can they be doing? What are they doing? Please calm down, Captain. Sarah promised to send Steiner and Kirk down as soon as they get there from the clinic. I'm sure they'll show up. It doesn't matter if they turn up now or an hour from now. We were supposed to leave before nighttime. I'm warning you, there's no way I'm taking my ship out onto the lake just when it's the monster's mealtime. Listen, if it makes you feel better, we can leave tomorrow at dawn. Until then, I'll go see how everyone is getting on. And you try to calm down a bit. Everything will be fine, Captain. Kate! Sarah, is everything all right? It's Grandfather. He hasn't come back from the clinic. Maybe putting on Kirk's prosthesis took more time than he thought it would. That's just what I thought, too. But when I took the vernacular to go look for him in the clinic, I saw everything up there has been closed up, and there are armed men in the lobby. Ugh. Oh, maybe those are the soldiers with that colonel who's chasing us. They're holding Grandfather. I just know it. I have to go save him. Young Tak Moon is right. Miss Kate Walker must hurry and go back to clinic and save Kirk. And Grandfather, what will you do about him? Kirk is my priority, Sarah. Because as long as we're stuck in this place with the Yukels, we're putting you all in danger. But don't you worry. I'll do everything I can to bring your grandfather back to... I... I understand. But please don't forget him. Miss Kate Walker must take this. We'll need it up there. What's that? And how can you know what I might need? Spirits not just send really bad signs. <laughs> Now, Miss Kate Walker must return back in clinic. I'm off. In the meantime, tell the captain to be ready to leave. Too bad if it's dark out. If the colonel and his men are really up there, we'll need to leave the second I come back here with Kirk. Wedges. No, I need to find something else. That's not right.
no power. Listen to my voice, young Yukel. Listen to the voice of a very dear friend. Kirk, you are the guide of your people. He who shows his Yukel brothers the path of modernity and progress. These archaic migrations that you persist in perpetuating are now but ridiculous reflexes. You must take your people back where they came from and have them settle down. Build real houses, schools, and factories. The nomadic life will no longer be possible in the world of tomorrow.